Hello everybody. It's Mini just gonna check and see if my Fraps is working. But Windows has crashed on me. Oh there we go. Oh god. There we go. Sorry. Things go wrong. So I'm just gonna be getting out of the map here, because it's fun and everything. I've actually gotten out of the map two ways on here before. So, damn it, <clears throat> this is the first way. So you land in the water. I think you could already go over here. So this is not a way to get out of the map. <laughs> so we just reached a checkpoint. So there's a certain way where you land in the water. You go in the water, but so I'm trying to do it right. It's a little hard though. Everything's hard. Doesn't look like there's an ocean floor under that. Yeah, I'm going to end up coming out over there. Because, you know, what's going to happen is I'm actually going to end up walking all the way through here. And moving up this hill on that side. Yeah, so while I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and do a PSA thing sure you saw the prelude part in Halo 2. Now what I'm saying is uh, I'm going to be telling you some new updates. Hooray! Things are going to be a little slower at the moment because I'm trying to uh, make some animations and stuff. And while I'm at it, I'm trying to uh, make some whatever it's called. Uh, trying to do walkthroughs and plus I've got three or four game projects two or three of them are solo actually so yeah I'm I'm a very busy person but I still find a lot of time to dick around and not do it which really like my boarded game for example that would have been done like eight months ago but the fact that I'm just lazy postponed the date to like next year because I'm still not done with the first four levels even though I made a demo with the first four levels in it I'm not entirely done detailing it and everything hmm how do I do this hold on let me just queue up this little YouTube video that I was watching all right so he goes over there, touches himself, gets out, jumps up on it, walks around, oh no, he fell off the same place I did. Oh, so you just you crouch in it. That makes sense. I can go ahead and set my status to busy on Skype here so you don't have to constantly hear the bow whoop. Bow, whoop. So you go right there. It's like you have to fall into the water. Anyway, so what I wanted to uh, tell everyone is sad news. My Call of Duty United Offensive walkthrough has been cancelled. No, no, oh no. Yes, I know. I feel your pain. 
Do you know how long I spent doing that? Very long time. And then all my sound files messed up. However, I did save one... I was able to salvage one clip, and I can show everyone that. Uh, someday. Someday. Well, anyway. So, I, um, yeah, the sound had all messed up and it only came out of these chirping noises. So I just thought to myself, you know what, Bandicam? You give me enough crap and I'm not going to really deal with you anymore. Yeah, so I'm not dealing with it anymore. I deleted Bandicam. And yeah, so there's no more Call of Duty 1 walkthrough. I'm sticking with Fraps for the uh, rest of my walkthrough time. And it's going to be a fun ride because, uh, snack cakes and sandwich factories and stuff like that. Hmm, why can't I... Go out, I'm doing exactly what the guy does, but it's not... This game's being retarded and like, no, no, you can't go out. Oh yeah, alright, so, um... I'm going to do a couple updates on uh, everything here. So I'm actually going to start doing the walkthrough for Euthanasia, so anybody who watches my videos for my FPS creator uh, walkthroughs is going to go all like, YAY! Because I'm doing an FPS creator walkthrough again. Now, uh... You goddamn boat. Taste justice. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Um, as for my actual FPS creator games, I started, um, well, there's my one project, which I'm not very, uh, happy about. I'm actually going to postpone that name because nobody, barely anybody even liked that one, and I don't like it myself. In fact, I'm sort of not working on it at the moment because I just don't want to do it. Maybe it's just because I'm lazy. How does he get off right there? It's. Do they patch it? Because I don't even have an update on this. I think I have to do it on the Xbox version. See, like, he falls off, like, around there. Maybe he, like, jumps onto the invisible wall or something. Like, I'm almost off the edge. And then all of a sudden, this thing has collision, which is dumb because it usually doesn't. So, damn it, we're just going to go ahead and go through the level anyway, screw getting out of the map, I've done it before, twice, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and continue talking, my uh, my other ones, uh, boarded is going to take an extremely, extremely long time, and uh, what is it, my uh, uh, whatever it is. The new one that I started working on, it was called Nazi Germany. I don't know if I'm actually going to work on it or not. It was sort of like a little fun idea I was going to have. Did this thing crash again? No, it didn't. Okay. It's going to be a little fun idea that I decided to do where, uh, there would be, oh god, where'd you come from? where I would make uh, a four level campaign where you start off in a bunker and you end up on the outside of the city and you're sort of fighting all around to protect the city and you were a German soldier instead of an American soldier like most people end up doing which I thought that'd be a little cool idea I set up a couple rooms and stuff and then I ended up using it for a bug report in FPS creator where the uh, entities move through static objects which actually that's going to be another big thing in my boarded progress because now I can't make the boarded campaign because uh, the AI they're being retarded for some reason and in my, only in that map they're uh, they're not working they they're just not working and it's 
annoying me because, you know, your enemies, they won't shoot your allies. And so they just pinpoint straight to you and go, pa, pa. Oh, that's Bowman. Where's, where's Reznov? I can shoot Reznov all I want. Sup, Reznov? That's right, you're not even real. Spoiler alert. So, uh... Yeah, he's only real in World at War. And the second level in this game. Anyway. So, uh... Yeah. Now... My other project that I was working on... What, what was it called? Uh, Guadalcanal. I can already tell. It's gonna lag up so bad. It's gonna be worse than this game, and I'm already running at 10 frames per second, but, uh, yeah, it's gonna have three campaigns, uh, two American campaigns and one Russian campaign, however, the Russian campaign is going to, uh, be a bit crazier and possibly a bit more cluttered, and it's definitely gonna be, you know, there's gonna be a bunch of stuff added into it. But, uh, well, yeah, there's going to be a lot of snipers and trees. <laughs> there's a big problem with the uh, World at War engine, and that's that only 32 AI are allowed in-game at once. Which you think, well, 32, you know, that's enough, right? Well, the thing is, I'm big on large encounters. For example, I actually had one where there was like 70 something people because yeah, there was like 50 enemies and then there was 24 that get out of a boat, not out of a boat, out of three different boats. Oh no, 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 crap. Oh, man, I could have jumped off the edge. And then I Hold on a second. That part right there always says checkpoint reached, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's the other way I've gotten out of the map. That went off and then it said checkpoint reached while I was falling, so I was able to fall down and live. Anyway, so yeah, Guadalcanal, it's not cancelled, it will never be cancelled as far as I'm concerned. But however, um, if unfortunate things done, I may have to cut it down. I might, I don't know, I may actually have to cut it down to just Guadalcanal and not the entire custom campaign, which was uh, supposed to be much, much bigger than what it is currently. Because what it is currently, there's like a... Well, right now there's only one map, and there's supposed to be around like 50 or 60, not 60, there's supposed to be 23. And, uh, yeah. They're all supposed to be really, really small, you know. I wasn't expecting much gameplay time out of it. But, uh, yeah, I'm having problems with that map, though. Polygons keep deleting. And, uh, there's also, like, the polygons in the map, they're deleting themselves for some reason whenever I compile it. And then there's these really, really dark areas. Now, I think I might just have to put reflection probes down to solve that problem, I'm not too sure. You guys don't know what I'm talking about, but it's okay. So, my final, uh, thing for the PSA here is that, uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of multiplayer, so... Obviously now, I'm not going to do, I don't do much multiplayer videos. That big spree of Halo 2 was only because Halo 2's servers are supposed to be shutting down. And they didn't. Thank God they didn't, but, uh. Because I would have, I would have been like, no. I don't know, that's that, you guys, I know, I know that, uh, if you have an FNFAL, like, okay, this one. Yeah, you you make it look like G. Uh, hold on a second. Uh. Yeah, I'm rubbing it. 
I'm rubbing my gun. This thing is so fancy. I love it. Well, anyway, um, so um, my I'm my animations. I'm not gonna tell you what they're gonna be at all. I can only gonna say that there's probably gonna be a few more than one or two or seven or twenty-five or ten thousand nine hundred eighty-two. There's gonna be a couple. So I'm just going to go ahead and sit here and watch as I get flung somehow all the way over there. Oh. Well, actually, no, I'm just going to go. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for watching.